So if you've got a uh, Astra twin top and the roof is halfway stuck like mine, the instructions that come with this car are very much, um, how shall I put it, lacking in clarity. I think that's the best way I'd put it, without swearing. So they say while you're uh, doing it that you need to release the hydraulic pressure. Um, now this is the bit where I found the instructions almost impossible to find because my car was stuck in this sort of position. So what they say is open the boot, but my boot's stuck in that position and go through and push out a square and uh, you can then get access to an Allen key or, so, or something along those lines. But when you look in here, where is that bit where you release the pressure? Now, with the boot in this position, it's impossible to see. So if you come with me, how do you get the boot open so that you can actually get access into the boot when it's locked in? And it's locked in like this. Well, what you do is, I don't know if you can see that, see, you see this tab? So if you see this tab, push that tab open and that releases the lock down here at the bottom. Then that will allow you, if you get hold of the boot at the back, to rotate the boot out of the way and just bring it forward like you would do um, if it's just opened in the normal situation. Right. Now, once you've done that, in the boot, just turn this light on so you can see. Up there, on the uh, bulkhead, so below, so below this bit and above the glass. In the back of the bulkhead here, I don't know if you can see, there's just a, what looks like a bit of a cutout, just where my wife's got her finger on there. So that is where you, on about the square that you push through. So I'll just go and see if I can do that. All right, so it says use the screwdriver. But I'm just gonna use a chisel because it'd be a bit easier. Just. Hang on one sec. So with a five mil Allen key, so I'm using this from my socket set. Yeah. You can just see there is the Allen key hole. Oh, so. Just release the pressure anti-clockwise. It's the brass looking uh, one. Here you've got a couple, one on each side. So we can see it there. So you've got a couple of these pull tabs, you just pull those if this is locked in place but if uh, your boot was half open there's the one on the other side so just down there if your boot was open like mine then they're probably not locked in the first place so and then that allows you to lift this way so like lift up and pull back just bring it down then and then when it's so far down, rotate it. Okay, that's it. Now rotate it back. This way. Yeah, lift that bit up. So. Now the reason mine was stuck in the first place is because I believe on the other side, um, the gear on this has gone. So you just want to wind these in. So again on the same side, so it's screwing in here.
Now that's what's at fault, that's why my roof's stuck in the first place. So I've ordered some new um, gears. So I've ordered some brass ones to replace the nylon ones, which obviously are broke. But you, I can actually feel while I'm turning it that this size feels a bit sticky. So that's probably why this one um, broke in the first place. So now all the um, hydraulic pressure's released. So if you grab hold of that, I'm holding the underneath one, yeah? Yeah, so just, just try lifting that straight up. Hang on, wait. Okay. <laughs> okay, we got it. Yeah. All right, okay, ready. <laughs> Oh, I'm telling you, this is heavy. Okay, we can just push that forward and guide these things into these holes here. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, ready? Yeah. The weight. Should, make sure you don't put your hands underneath. See here. Yeah. There's like a little hole there, so you just guide that. Don't want to chuck the fingers. <laughs> I think my side's done. That's it. It's gone. That's it, yeah. So what I was just doing there, I can't really see now, but you've got the two spikes, so just make sure those locate in the um, locate the pins locate into the locating socket, and then that's your roof uh, in at the front. Now uh, to lock the roof in place. So I'm now lining the back of the car in time to lock the roof in place. Now up here, so this is where the um, back window goes up to. So you follow it back to here. This is um, it's like a, a cutout. So you put like your screwdriver in there and you just put your screwdriver in there and you just you can see I'm just a bit more screwed over ready for this, but I'll just slide in that forward. So that's that side locked in place. So that's what I'm looking for. So you can see that, so that's what I'm looking for. And then, if you can see, just moving that all forward. And then that's that locked in place. So obviously, when I come to fix the roof, I'm gonna to have to be doing it the other way. But like I say, this is just locking uh, the roof while I wait for the parts. So the next thing is to close the boot lid. Ready? Just remove the carpet so you can get into the bottom of this round. So I don't know whether this is the case with all Astra uh, twin tops, but every time I try and lock my boot lid, it won't lock. Um, now that's because this mechanism here with this ram, when this is working in the car, this is actually closes by itself. But what's happening when I'm trying to close it uh, manually is this ram is allowing to drop which then pulls on this cable which is the same as like pulling the uh, release cable so what i found so i don't know if you can see i'll peel this back to try and show you is if i put a something like a socket um below this ram this stops this ram dropping uh while this gets connected so once this is connected, you remove the socket 
and uh, it normally works okay. Just underneath this plate here, that's where I put the socket. Oh, I just moved it. So, see it just underneath. All right, so just pull on the catch. So not the, uh, don't know if you can see from here. You just pull on the back of the catch, that releases it. Locked down on the left side, but the socket moved on this side. So, third time looking. So there you go. Hello, yeah. So there you go, this is now locked in there. Locked in there. So I've just removed the socket from underneath the ram. I'm gonna close the boot lid first and then I'm gonna check um, before I put all the stuff back that it all works. Obviously, number two, do the boot catch. 